If you guys need cheap coins, check out FIFA Coin Stock down below in the description. Dirty at checkout. And if you want cheap games, cheap codes, G2A also down below. What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike, and welcome back to the journey where I'm building different squads as we progress throughout divisional play. We're getting into tournaments. We're hitting that razzle-dazzle. I'm dropping feedback on which players live up to the hype, and then other guys, just leave them on the market. Don't even touch those dudes. Don't. Don't do it. If you guys enjoy the content, smash that thumbs up button right now, and I've got the face cam. Yes, I do. I've brought the face cam, and I'm going to try to include a face cam on almost every single type of video that I create. I just think the users, the consumers, the viewers, the subscribers, all you guys seem to enjoy more face cam. If you do, Make sure to beat up that like button. Usually we get five to 700. Try to get 800, 900, 1,000. That just confirms what I feel like all the subscribers are on board with. And we've got a full informed squad on that discount shopping tip. Full chemistry hybrid, 442. Uh, it cost me about 350,000 coins. And the reason I say that's cheap is because it averages out to about 30,000 per position for an inform. And that's very reasonable. Uh, that's very affordable as Lord Bentner was wiggling. He was working. He was trying to get on board. We're not even done. You're going to see a lot of body fainting. I don't want to foreshadow too heavy, but you're going to see some body fainting as we go up 1-0 and connection has not been that great for me. And that's since the damn patch. I hate this new patch and I want to discuss it. I'm thinking about doing a rant video, uh, but please... If you enjoy the patch, let me know in the comments. If you hate the patch, let me know in the comments down below. And if you don't enjoy the patch, what are the top three or the top five things that you don't like? The changes they made. Because uh, they're not improvements to me. I think the defense sits back farther than it should. My connection, all of a sudden, I've got great internet, fellas, as we do get a second goal there. Iguayim, 2-0, 73rd minute. I've got great internet. Why am I lagging in every single match? We've got green latency. That is a horrible feature. My touches aren't that good. Uh, the shooting and the goalkeepers is now changed, and it's not an improvement. I, I just feel like the game got more defensive. I, I, half my opponents are in power, park the bus mode, and I don't know why. Is that a natural thing as we hit the post? Ham chic, he could have put us up. Either way, that game has been wrapped and scrapped. All she wrote, 2 0. We're keeping it moving. We're in Division 5, by the way. I've been playing a lot of different tournaments. We did some single matches. You guys know with the squad building account, I'm doing all sorts of weird stuff. We've got squads that are great, we've got teams that are for fun, and we've got everything in between. As my opponent opens up the match, that was a beautiful finish. It shouldn't have got there. It was unlucky. And the crossing is also back now. Ugh. I just feel like the patch, I don't want to touch on it too much, but I just feel like the patch regressed the game. I feel like I'm playing something more so similar to FIFA 14, and that's not what I want. FIFA 14 wasn't a great FIFA. I was happy with the way that it looked. Uh, but in terms of gameplay, there was a lot of major flaws. And I just let it slide. I put it under the rug. It was a first time on next gen. So we just let it slide. And look at Calion. He had a banana. He had an apple. He had all his fruit and veggies at halftime. And welcome to the body fate. As we put it into the back of the net. I can't. I can't complain. I can't be happier. He was slipping into girls' DMs. I'm talking about wives, sisters, mothers. Girlfriends, everything, all of the above. He's playing no games. He's not even done. His confidence, all time high. His ego is up here. And in terms of the squad, because we got a lot to talk about, I've got Perrin or Perrine as the goalkeeper. Nothing crazy to talk about. I've never really used um, this Italian in the Serie A, so I wasn't very familiar with them. Uh, I didn't think that he did anything bad. I didn't think he did anything exceptional. Naldo and Benucci, mmm, good combination. And we got a physical back four. We've also got uh, Lichsteiner as well as Rodriguez. These guys are like, uh, we're getting, oh, we're throwing elbows. Oh, we're throwing elbows. As we do concede in the 80th, thankfully, that did not dictate the match. That did not change anything. It was a consolation. 3-2, we're starting out on a bang. Yeah, if I have my amigos going right now, if you guys have been watching the stream, live stream, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Dirty Mike, and I'm doing skill move sessions. We're building squads. We're talking that trash. We're listening to the music. We're vibing out together, live, together. But Rodriguez and uh, Lich, Lich Stein are both good. And we open up the goal. Oh, we're going to open up the match with a goal. Feeling great. My chest is pumped out. Opponent rage quits like a punk. And, of course, EA, if you've been watching the Twitter, they give me a disconnection loss when it's a clear... A clear rage quit. And he didn't even give himself a chance for a comeback. Two minutes in, he rage quits, and he gets rewarded with a W. And this is when I get angry. I, I tossed the controller. I actually broke the controller. I, I almost put it out the window. So thankfully, we didn't do that. I, I would have to replace a window and a controller. Now we just lost first controller of the year. If you guys have been following the Twitter, you already know. 
You already know. This is not new information. You get the exclusives. Uh, we've got De Bruyne and Hamsheek, both good center mids. They're kind of attacking guys, not really great on the defensive side, but I have a lot of fun with both of them. So, hey, I, hey, they're going to make it into the squad. Hey, we asked to get a real rage quit finally as uh, Iguain, Iguain had tucked it away. Excuse me. Excuse me. And we got Calion and Perisic, two outside midfielders or wingers that aren't used nearly enough. We're averaging three goals a game and not even conceding one a match. Oh, we're not going to lose too much like that. Those are good numbers. They're going to have to keep giving us disconnections. And then Iguain and Bettner is a surprisingly good partnership. I think with the update... Guys that are not super zoomers, but they're kind of strong and they got good size, such as an Iguaim, either ideal players. Uh, and in terms of pros, our midfield, you can shoot, you can pass. They don't have any limitations. Uh, we've got a really nice variety between uh, a different collection of players. Whether you need a speedster, you need someone who's got the skills, you need someone who can shoot, you need someone who's just physical, a target man. And talking about physical, wow, we are going to be big bodying everybody. Uh, and then the only issue that I had was you don't really have a center mid presence on the defensive end. De Bruyne, Hamsheek, they're not going to control the air. They're not going to make big challenges. I had Iguaim as my marquee player. I just thought that he fit perfectly with how the patch has kind of changed the gameplay. And he can finish everything. Oh, my goodness. Don't don't give him a 1v1. And I guess we gave the squad a 9 out of 10. Very playable. Handicap is gone. We are ready to roast and toast with informs. I'm happy. I am very happy. We're going to buy a lot more. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook at DirtyMikeUSA. And I have a lot more content come for you ASAP, ASAP.